Hey guys, so this is going to be another version of my part 2 tutorial that I did for my horror series. And this is going to be a different way to actually make, um, you know, the player aware of the enemy being visible. And it's going to work, you know, directly with the sanity scripts that I created in the other, in the first part. But this is instead of ray casting, you can detect whether the actual enemy is within front of the camera. And obviously this wouldn't work as well if you had things behind a wall because it'd still... Um, detect it because it's whatever is rendered in front of the camera and everything is rendered in front of the camera no matter how far away it is depending on the um, the distance that you've got set within your camera settings but I'll go ahead and show you how we're going to create this it's a lot simpler than ray casting and you know may well be more suited to people's games so what I'm going to do is create a new JavaScript file and call this enemy viz and then we're going to open that up in mono develop once it's open what I'll do is start by writing like we did before private variable called insanity script and set that as type insanity manager and then below there I'll set a variable called scare percentage as float equal to 10.0 the semicolon then I'll start by writing function start two brackets then two curly brackets below and we're going to say sanity script is equal to game object dot find open brackets first person controller or wherever you've got um, your script attached to dot get component open brackets insanity manager close that up put a semicolon and that's it for the start that's we're just referencing to the other script so we can access the variables and things now we're going to write a function update open up two brackets add two curly brackets below and say if renderer with a lowercase dot is visible close that up add two curly brackets below and say that sanity script dot current sanity plus equals scare percentage times by time dot delta time and like with before it just means that in the update function it checks every frame that if the object or you know the enemy is within the camera's render and it is visible then we'll do you know the scare percentage every second and when you know you obviously look away from it and it's not within the camera's renderer then it won't do it anymore so what we can do is then apply this to our box and obviously you can change that scare percentage variable and what we'll do press play you can see that it's going up as it normally would now if we look away it goes back down normally and we can do everything and obviously when we're looking at it you obviously need to change things up like your focal point of your um, camera so you can't as I say if I'm behind a wall and we're looking in this direction it'll still work so you have to choose you know which element you believe to work the best so that's pretty much it and that covers sort of the basics of just another way to detect an enemy if you made it appear so thanks very much for watching and if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers